Hello, welcome back to my channel, Vermont Lavender. And today I want to talk about body butter. So are you looking for an unscented body butter made with 100% natural ingredients to help with psoriasis or eczema, which is really dry skin? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk, explain what's in my unscented body butter and the ingredients. So if you see the value in this video, leave a thumbs up. And if you're not already a subscriber, please click the subscribe button and you'll, you'll see my updates. Every Tuesday, I update, I upload a video. So I'm still new at doing this. <laughs> Uh, so hey, so Diane here from Vermont Lavender. We fix dry skin so you feel more comfortable and feel better about yourself. So today we're going to talk about, end of the, my video, I'm going to talk about another important ingredient I will be adding to future unscented body butters. So why use an unscented body butter? Well, if you have allergies to like fragrances because a lot of fragrance oils are made in labs, and so it's done chem chemically. Or even essential oils, some of them are just really powerful. And the, your skin, when it's uh, you have eczema or even psoriasis, but especially eczema, your skin is so uh, charged and it, it can get easily inflamed. So it reacts quickly. So if you're sensitive to commercial products with their overpowering scents, if you suffer from the psoriasis or eczema, like I mentioned before, and if you've seen a dermatologist for your skin problem of the eczema, they do recommend using unscented skincare products. And it's hard to find a lot of products um, locally here in Vermont that are unscented, even deodorant, uh, because my husband has eczema, and so he suffers from it, even on his lips. So it does, does make a difference. He's noticed a big difference in using non-scented or unscented body care products. So even if you use a body butter with fragrances or essential oils, they can get inflamed. It can turn red and you can have a really bad reaction. It may, it may show up quickly, it may be like that, or it might be like, you know, 15, 20 minutes later, you have a, like a reaction to it. So it causes inflammation and it also hurts more. So it's not really solving the problem. But in this video, I'm going to share my top five ceramide NP, <clears throat> excuse me, shea butter, almond butter, it's a blend, meadow foam seed oil, and extracts like calendula and oat. So ceramide is a saturated fatty acid and it's in the uppermost layer of our skin. It's used in many skincare products. So if you suffer from eczema, your dermatologist will probably recommend using a product made with ceramide. And there's different levels of ceramide. The one I use is the Ceramide NP, or it's also known as Ceramide 3. And it's 95% pure. And it helps to improve the skin barrier to environmental uh, irritants and it prevents skin dehydration, which is really important because when you have eczema, you wanna keep that skin hydrated. Another ingredient is shea butter, commonly used in a lot of body care products, even lip balms. So it provides deep moisturizing benefits. It has a natural, it provides a natural barrier to the skin and it has five fatty acids. I don't know if I can pronounce them correctly. I'm going to try. So a linoleic, as oleic, steric, and palmitic acids. And those are the fatty acids that help to provide the natural barrier and protection for your skin. The next ingredient, the third ingredient, is the almond butter blend. Now this is a proprietary blend that I get from a supplier. It has sweet almond oil and it's, it has a hydrogenated vegetable oil. And so what they do is they whip it up really, really fast, just like what they do with peanut butter, and that blends the two together. So sweet almond oil contains high amounts of essential fatty acids and natural waxes, and it helps to protect, and also it provides almost like a coat on your skin. So it's another protector, like jojoba oil is a wax. So it's a little bit similar to it. 
Disclaimer, I have to say, if you have any nut allergies, this body butter is something that you do not want to use. Anything made with sweet almond oil and you have nut allergies, don't use that skincare product. So the fourth one is metal foam seed oil. And this is actually an herb that I grow. Um, it provides stability to skincare products, so it makes them much more stable. It's an excellent moisturizer and it helps to protect the skin from drying out. So it stays softer a lot longer. So a lot of my body butters, well, actually all of them, I use metal foam seed oil in it because it improves the longevity of my skincare product, but it also helps the skin not to dry out. So it has a lot of, lot of different benefits. The next one I want to talk about, calendula extract. It provides a gentle, as a gentle moisturizing effect, and it helps to reduce inflammation. So if you have dry, cracked, broken skin, this is an uh, excellent herb for this. And so it also helps with diaper rash, and it's the number one ingredient I use in pretty much all of my skincare products. The next one, or the last one, is the oat extract, and that is nice skin soother. So it helps with inflammation, keeps it nice and calm. Um, there's people that uh, that have eczema that's really, really bad, and they will do like a bath. They'll take a bath with colloidal oatmeal, which is really finely ground oatmeal. So I want to thank you for sticking around, and I want to tell you my secret ingredient that I'm thinking about including in my next unscented body butters and that is the colloidal oatmeal that's the finely ground because it actually helps to attract moisture from the air so it's called a humectant and I do want to show you really quick this is a, one of my peppermint ones but that's okay because they're pretty much all the same this is the calendula one I have it in a little size because I'm trying it out right now to see if this is something that my customers would be interested in. So what it is, this is what my body butters are. See, it's nice, it's kind of thick like that and you just rub it right in. It's a nice little hand cream. And you can use it right in your cuticles, uh, your knees, elbows, the body butters for all over the body except for the face. I have one that's a hemp seed body butter blend and people that have really dry skin like myself, I use that on my face, but mainly body butters are made for the body. So it helps oatmeal, colloidal oatmeal, helps to improve the skin's dryness and the roughness of the skin. It's also longer lasting. So it's excellent for those with eczema and it's used in many skincare products. That's why I'm going to be adding it to my body butters, and that's the, the calendula one. So, and so I'll use that in my next bag. So if you want to learn more about body butters, I have a video in the link. I'll have it down below, and why use body butters. I don't know whichever way YouTube is going to put the next link in. So, and this is, uh, also I wanna put a link into, um, where you can purchase the unscented body bio. Okay, so I will see you next Tuesday. So don't forget to like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching and have a great day. Good. Yep. You're still taping. Can we just shoot the whole thing again? No. Press the stop. Press stop. Cut. Cut. Okay, so. All right. And you can use this for outtakes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right.